if you're wondering like who is this girl like should i listen to her can i trust her trust me baby i don't have no reason to lie to you i don't have no reason to lie to you but that nigga do Young, wild, thick and proud. She don't really need no man, but she keep a few. One to two, long as he throwing them bands, and I pity the fool. You call her her boo, she ain't gonna be holding your hand. Heard it's a party downtown, gather the crew, everybody finna get cute. Ooh, Fenty Beauty. Hello, everybody, my name is China. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming back to y'all with a brand new video today. <laughs> so. As y'all read in the title, I'm going to be telling y'all my experience with a long distance relationship and why I zero out of zero do not can recommend that shit. So, first things first, I pops and freaks all the honeys, dummies, playboy bunnies, those wanting money. <laughs> it's like, so first thing first, um, I met this guy, we'll call him... We'll call him Derek. I met Derek on Twitter. It was back, giving me real 2015, 2016 vibe. Mm, one of those, cause I had just got out of a relationship. Zero out of zero, don't recommend. My biggest regret in life, whatever, boom. Just got out of that relationship and i was on twitter around this time i was always on twitter tweeting all that posting funny stuff retweeting and, and, and mingling whatever boom met him somehow don't remember the conversation and how we started talking i think it was over like a funny tweet or something like that mm, something like that whatever it is we'll be tweeting back and forth whatever thought it was cute <laughs> We'll be tweeting back and forth and then somehow stuff moved to Snapchat. You know, Snapchat's a little bit more personal than Twitter. Like, you know, like you got your own little uh, private messages. I mean, well, you do on Twitter too, but something about that snap is something about that snap, okay? <laughs> well, yeah, we moved to Snapchat. I don't know what we was talking about on there. But just know things progress to us texting and FaceTiming y'all. We will FaceTime so much because I mean, that's all we could do because this guy lived all the way in Georgia, okay? He lived in Atlanta. And so y'all, when I tell you it was overkill of FaceTime, like literally night and day, night and day, night and day, night and day, like literally falling asleep on the phone, y'all. Falling asleep on FaceTime like some corny niggas, okay? Waking up on that hoe. <laughs> Yo. Can I tell y'all how corny we got? Can I tell y'all how corny we got? Yes or no? We got so corny. So corny. To the point where he would be watching something on his laptop or whatever. And he would flip the motherfucking screen and we would act like we was watching it together. I can't believe I just said that, but yeah. But yeah, I was feeling him. I was digging his vibe. He seemed real positive, real cool, all that. Like he was very positive. He was uplifting in my dreams. I was doing YouTube back then, and um, I probably only had like a thousand subscribers or something like that. He would always motivate me to do videos and stuff. But he was all for like chasing after your dreams, like quit your job, chase your dreams type shit. And I back then i mean i fuck with it now too my current boyfriend is also like that so allow me to tell y'all the first red flag we was talking for about mm, maybe a month if that maybe something like that and i get a dm on twitter i'll never forget this at name it was a uh, princess poppin <laughs> I get a DM like, hey, are you talking to Derek? I say, what's it to you? She said, oh, well, yeah, because I've been talking to Derek. We've, we've been talking to each other, communicating. Um, So I don't know why he's talking to you too. I see you all over his Twitter. And da 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 Y'all, right here, I should have been the fuck out. 
I should have stopped, but my mindset back then, I'm like, okay, so you talking to him, I'm talking to him. Uh, if one plus one equals two. If two plus two is four. Right. And five plus five is 10. Okay. What the fuck is this? I'm like, okay, well, uh, may the best bitch win if you're just talking to him just like I'm talking to him. Why would I stop talking to him so you can continue to talk to him? Like, we're all single here, aren't we? Like, we're all single, so why the fuck would I stop talking to him just because you're talking to him? It just don't make sense to me. Like, you could talk to him too, poo. Like, we could both just talk to him. That's not why I was mad. I wasn't mad because he was talking to another bitch. I was mad because... This hoe's coming to me. Like, don't come to me when you're just talking. Control her. Like, I don't know. Like, make sure she's not um coming in my motherfucking inbox. Like, girl, go slither. Like, I don't care. So, yeah, I'm telling him. And I guess she's telling him at the same time. And at first, he's not responding back to me. And I don't like that. Mm, that didn't sit right with me. Mm, because I... Mm, 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 that didn't sit right with me. Because... I feel like you're gonna go to the person that you fuck with the most first. The person that you care about the most first. So I'm sitting here texting him back to back and I'm like, I see he's reading this shit, but he's not responding. I'm like, um, hello, hello, like, stir, like, I know you see me texting you. And I, I take it he gets her under control. He ends up telling me like, yeah, I just wanted to make sure she wasn't saying shit else, da 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 da. What I forget what he was saying he was doing with her some excuse, but he was like it's cool now She's somebody I was talking to we're supposed to meet in person so many times she lives here where I live We're supposed to meet in person so many times, but she always flakes out. I think she's a catfish, whatever, whatever, whatever We never FaceTime like I don't something like that. So I'm like, mm, okay Block that bitch like we'll solve this here block that bitch period so he does that allegedly he blocks her or whatever like that loses contact with her he didn't give a fuck about her boom we're on our merry way we're still facetiming uh all night long and shit like every day making it do what it do and a situation comes up where there's some pictures because at this point i haven't made it on facebook too he got some pictures with some john and um I asked, I say, who is this that you was uh, kicking it with? Like, who is this girl? He says, <laughs> he says it's his best friend, nothing to worry about, whatever. I forgot her name. Don't care to remember it. But that's his best friend. That's this. I'm tripping. I'm always doing this. I'm always tripping and all this shit. So I say, okay, fast forward later on down the line, I believe maybe it was after we was talking or had just got done talking or whatever. I found out that that was like his girlfriend or something. Yeah, I was scoping, I was I was snooping. But from that situation right there, uh, that's when I knew like, I ain't kind of nobody off of this nigga. Like, because one thing about Big Chai, mm, I can't, I ain't about to get got like, I'm gonna continue talking to you because it's long distance, it's fun or whatever, but I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do me, we're both gonna be doing us, but the only thing about it is I just don't get caught. Period. You're not gonna know unless I tell you. That's just how it is. I feel like that's how it is with a lot of females. You're just not gonna know unless I tell you, period. So I'm still talking to people on the side. I know he's talking to people on the side, of course. he That girl was probably his whole girlfriend during the time we was uh, together. I don't know how long they was together for. But it was all in the back of my mind. And that's why I'm like, you know what? We about to play this game. But I don't know how she could have been too much of his bitch because we would still be on FaceTime. And y'all, we, we talked on and off for a long time. Between relationships and shit, like I would go back to talking to him and shit. Like after me and somebody else would break up, I would go back to talking to him again. Why? Because it was convenient. I did fuck with him at first, but we both realized mm, the distance was in the way and that's just not gonna work out. The next instance was he got a new job at some call center or whatever. And he was telling me about how Bitches would be running up, hugging him, jumping on him and shit. And I got mad, but I think he ended up saying he was just playing, but I know he wasn't just playing. And about how bitches be saying he smelled good and shit. Like, ooh. 
so pretty in that he i think he was like one of pretty much one of the only guys there so you know bitches was flocking like bitches was flocking i know they was and that didn't sit well with me either i'm like okay and then it's like you know all this shit but you can't really prove all that shit it just wasn't that it just wasn't it for me like, another situation was i was lurking again <laughs> i went through the people that he was following and I see he was following Princess Poppin again after he she had already been blocked and deleted and shit for months. So I call him. I believe I'm at the hair salon or something. I call him beasting. I'm like, are you serious? Like, how the fuck are you doing this? Like, you really want to add this whole bag? Like, you don't. And this nigga, this nigga's getting an attitude with me. Like, man, get off my phone with that dumb shit. Like, da da da, hanging up on me and shit. Like, big chai now would have been like, okay, bitch. But I kept calling back and shit. So I'm like, bitch, you wanna hang up with me? I was genuinely hurt because this was somebody I knew he was talking to. And by the way he was talking about her the first time, I could tell he cared about her. Cause it seemed like they had been talking for a while, like how me and him had been talking for a while. So she was the one person that I would be uh, impressed over. I'm not even gonna lie. And when he did that, and I, I had already had like things in my mind, like, oh, I know he's probably still talking to her and we would be having arguments about that. like. And then to come to find out that this is what, like you probably was talking to her, you have her added back now, so I know you probably hit her up and shit. Like that was just not it for me. I can't remember exactly what made us stop talking. Like I said, I'll be talking to him in between relationships, so I would get a relationship, get out of one, be talk to him. Sometimes even when I was in a relationship, if it was with a nigga that wasn't shit, I would still be talking to him and be with that nigga at the same time. I just remember one time I got tired of the back and forth. I got tired of the razzle that it's the fly in the background for me. I got tired of the back and forth shit. So the one time he called me and I was fucking with this other nigga during that time. And we ended up, woo -doo -doo -woo made it do what it do. I remember posting this particular guy on my Snapchat to try to make Derek mad because he had did something to piss me off. And so I was trying to make him mad. It was during the time he wasn't talking. So I posted this guy on my Snapchat. He probably didn't even see him, but it was the time he ended up calling me again and we was happy talking and then I just got sick of it and I said, I f adios. Mm. And he looked at all hurt. I don't know if he was acting or pretending or what, but he looked at her. He looked hurt and um, he just hung up on me or whatever. I can't remember if I kept texting him back or if I called him back or whatever, but yeah. That was honestly the last thing I remember from him. Like. Oh, there was another situation. We ended up getting into a big argument, but he had claimed that he was going to buy plane tickets to come out and see me or whatever. And then close to the time it got that he was supposed to be seeing me, he started some big ass argument with me. So that led me to believe that he just didn't want to come. Yeah, it was just a lot of back and forth, a lot of uh, lies, sneakiness or whatever on not only his behalf, but on mine as well, because we both had a conversation one time saying like, basically like, we can't take it. Like you want to be able to just see the person that you're with anytime you want to, you know, like nobody wants to just be not seeing each other and just not, you know what I mean? That's what it was, I feel like, because i have no problem staying faithful i've been faithful to my boyfriend that i have now for like uh three years now so i will only recommend a long distance relationship if you have the money to be kicking out flights back and forth at least once a week or if you uh go out there stay out there for like a month at a time or whatever come back stuff like that if you could do that then it might work but if you was young like me i was like what maybe 19 20 18, 19, 20, something like that. I ain't had no money to be going on no flights or nothing like that. FaceTimes ain't enough. Like, you be going crazy. You be going literally fucking crazy when they don't answer the phone or something. Like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? Like, you be wilding on them for no reason when they don't answer the phone. Like, simple stuff like that is just plays in your head. Like, you can't pull up. Like, okay, where are you in? Let's pull up. Let's go off to eat. Let's do the... It just doesn't work. I'm sorry. It don't it don't work. Okay, y'all. So that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and smack the out of your screen right that subscribe button is. And you might as well hit the notification bell because you already know I'm gonna be right back at it like a crack addict. And that's on poo. 
Also, be sure to give your thoughts and opinions on long distance relationships and your own experiences down below in the comment section. Let's get it late down near period. Um, follow my social media accounts. They'll be down in the description box for y'all. Adios.